Hello, everyone, thanks for watching this video. Today, I'm going to introduce our work Score Cam, which is a score weighed and gradient free visual explanation for convolutional neural network. There are three common branches of visual explanations. The first, the gradient based visualization, which uses the backpropagated gradient to generate a sensitivity map in input space. The second is perturbation based method, which measure the importance of features by masking. Our work is built on the third one, class activation mapping, which generates easy understandable attribution map that highlights the some important region, and have been adopted in many tasks. In this paper, we propose a new CAM-based visual explanation method, score CAM, as a solution to existing issues in gradient-based CAMs. Our method outperforms several baseline methods under different metrics. Class activation maps are generated by linearly weighted sum all intermediate activation maps after the last convolutional layer. In the original CAM, it requires gap layer and retraining process to get the weight representation. To get rid of these limitations, later works use gradients to approximate the weight, and can be generalized to other networks without gap layer. However, in our work, we find that there exist two potential problems of gradient-based approximation. The first is gradient saturation, which means that when the intensity of a feature exceeds a certain level, it will not increase the confidence of network decision-making, and at this time, the gradient of the feature will be very small. Some methods such as integrated gradient aim to solve this problem, but it seems that it does not work well in CAM. The second is the problem of false confidence, which means activation maps with higher weights do not necessarily lead to more decision-relevant regions in the input, in other words, the region highlighted in an activation map with smaller weight may lead to more increase in confidence. This strange phenomenon is quite common in gradient-based approximation. To solve the issues mentioned before, we are motivated by perturbation-based methods that measure the importance of a region by masking or perturbing it. In our work, instead of perturbing the region in input directly, we perturb activation maps by masking their highlighted region in input. The weights are then determined by model's response on perturbed input. Here is the pipeline for our work. We divide it into two stages. In stage 1, the input is feed into a CNN model and we get the activation maps after the last convolutional layer. Usually, the activation maps are of a smaller size than input, so in order to perturb input, we upsample them into input size. In stage 2, for each activation map, we first smooth it by normalizing the value into 0 to 1. Then we mask the input and get the score on target class of masked input. Note that stage will be repeated many times depending on the number of activation all maps. activation maps with their corresponding weights. In summary, no training process or network modification is required, no sampling or optimization is required. Our work is a gradient-free extension of CAM. To validate our work, we conduct several experiments. They are qualitative evaluation via visualization, faithfulness evaluation via image recognition, localization evaluation, sanity check, and possible applications, except for score cam, we visualize the results of eight other explanation methods. As shown in this example, our results are visually sharp in comparison, the highlighted regions are more focused and have less noise. Score CAM also extends the advantage of CAM that has concentrated result, compared to discrete points in gradient visualization, as a method of explanation, to quantify the relevance of highlighted region to the network decision, we conduct faithfulness evaluation on a pre-trained VGG16 model and 2000 randomly selected images. Average drop, average increase, deletion AUC, and insertion AUC are used as metrics, score CAM achieves the best performance on all these metrics. It highlights the most necessary and sufficient features compared with other works, which means that removing the region will cause the largest drop while keeping the region will bring the highest confidence. For localization evaluation, we randomly select 500 images with two restrictions. The target object occupies less than 50% region of the whole image, and the target class is of only one bounding box for simplicity. We evaluate on energy-based point game metric, which measures how much energy falls into the bounding box. The energy here is the values in explanation map. We also achieve the best localization performance. Most of the highlighted values are inside the bounding box. In sanity check, we randomize the parameters of network from top to bottom layer. 
In the experiment, score cam passes sanity check as previous works, which indicates that it is sensitive to model parameters. Finally, we indicate two potential applications of score cam. The quality of explanation map can work as an indicator of model convergence. When the model converges, the explanation map will not change much and usually has less noise. It also helps detect the bias in dataset, for example, the image with label bicycle is classified as person. We generate explanation maps for both classes. By comparing the difference, we know that person is correlated with bicycle because person appears in most bicycle images in the training set, and person region is the most distractive part that leads to misclassification. Thanks for listening. Our code has been released on GitHub. Welcome to give it a try and star our work.